Hi everyone, this is George Kinkov, and I'm an amateur astronomer. And in today's video, I'll share with you a result of my biggest deep sky astrophotography project I've ever done. And it is a picture of Andromeda galaxy with uh, more than 10 hours worth of data. So let's begin. Based on the light pollution map, my observation site is located under the sky with a class 4 on the bottle scale, which is pretty good, I think. Uh, however, based on my personal experience, I have a class number 5. But anyway, I can see a lot of stars and objects in the night sky and, of course, our Milky Way galaxy. And as I told you at the beginning of this video, right now I'm working on the project of taking a picture of Andromeda galaxy. It is the closest to us galaxy that lies in two and a half million light years away from us in the constellation Andromeda. It is a home for one trillion stars. And right now this galaxy is running on the way to our Milky Way galaxy at about 110 kilometers per second. And uh, Andromeda and Milky Way galaxy will collide eventually. But don't worry, this event will take place just in about four billion years from now, which is not soon, of course. And under the dark sky, you can even spot this galaxy with naked eye and definitely observe this galaxy using any binocular or telescope. Talking about a telescope, let me show you my gear that I use for deep sky astrophotography. And my main imaging telescope is Skywatcher EVOSTAR 80ED. It is apochromatic refractor with 600 mm focal length and Andromeda will fit nicely in the camera field of view here. And the telescope is mounted on Skywatcher HEQ5 Pro mount. You already seen this mount in my previous videos where I taken pictures of planets. Here we have my old imaging camera, Canon Rebel t i I've taken a lot of pictures using this camera, like pictures of planets, our moon, sun, and some deep sky objects. And uh, tonight I'm finishing my bigger deep sky project so far, where by the end I have a picture of Andromeda galaxy. So on the top of imaging telescope I have a 60 mm guide scope with 215 mm focal length. And here is my guide camera ZWO ASI 120mm mini. It is a monochrome camera and the only purpose it has is keep an eye on the star movement and follow that star so that the telescope uh, will be able to get long exposure, nice and sharp pictures. So for capturing I use the app called Astrophotography Tool or APT. It is a really nice app that allows you to run capturing sessions as it automates most of the tasks you have to deal with during the capturing process. For guiding I use PHD2 software and the only job it does is tracking a star. As a result you can take long exposure pictures without any issues such as uh, star trails. So I've spent four nights already taking pictures of Andromeda Galaxy using this software and so far I've collected something around nine and a half hours worth of data and tonight I'm planning to finish my project as I will have more than 10 hours worth of exposure time. I'm planning to shoot more videos about deep sky astrophotography in the future where I cover each aspect of astrophotography in detail so please subscribe to my channel and stay in touch. So now let me share the final picture of Andromeda Galaxy I got during five nights of observations. Uh, the picture has more than 10 hours worth of data. I'll add the total exposure time on the screen later. It'll be right here. I'll see you guys in future videos and until then, clear skies.